everyone and welcome back to Operation Water Drop, a program for English speaking and reading in a way you can share with your students. Today we will be learning Lesson 24. This lesson is about obeying your parents. We will also learn new vocabulary about obeying the rules. Are you ready? Grab your notebooks, sit up straight, and let's get started. Let's learn our new vocabulary words. Are you ready? Obedient. Obedient. Obedient means to follow the rules or to follow a person. When the girl tells the dog to sit, he is very obedient. Obedient. Honor. Honor. Honor means to show respect. The children honor their country by standing and singing the national anthem. Honor. Let's now learn our power verse together. Are you ready? Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Let's read it together one more time. Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. Honor your father and your mother, so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Great job! Now let's read My Precious Book together. My Precious Book, page 159. Baby Jesus came to Nazareth with his parents and lived there. They took good care of him and taught him many things. Jesus was very obedient to Joseph and Mary. Where did Jesus and his parents go to live? We can learn three important points today from our power verse and from my precious book. Number one. Jesus was obedient to his parents. Number two, we can honor our father and mother by being obedient. Number three, God has special and amazing promises for us if we obey him. Great job. Now let's learn our new English vocabulary about obeying the rules. 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 Rules are directions we obey to stay safe and happy together. Rules. Stop. Stop. Stop means to not move or to continue what you were doing. Stop. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down means to do something slowly and carefully. Slow down. Go faster. Go faster. If someone is too slow, you can tell them to go faster. Go faster. Be quiet. Be quiet. 
When people are working in class, it is important to be quiet. Be quiet. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully to your teachers when they tell you what to do. Listen carefully. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Look closely and pay attention so you do not get hurt. Be careful. Stand in line. Stand in line. Before we go to lunch, we stand in line. Stand in line. Make a circle. Make a circle. We can play many games and look at each other when we make a circle. Make a circle. Don't run. Don't run. No running. No running. If you run, you can hurt others or hurt yourself. Don't run. No running. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. No smoking. No smoking. Smoking is not good or healthy for your body. Don't smoke. No smoking. Don't fight. Don't fight. No fighting. No fighting. We should play nicely together and not hurt each other. Don't fight. No fighting. Caution. Caution. Caution is another way to say be careful. Caution. Danger. Danger. Danger is the opposite of safety. To stay safe, pay attention to this sign and do not touch or go to that place. Danger. Look both ways. Look both ways. Before you cross the street, it is important to look both ways. Look both ways. Don't touch. Don't touch. Do not touch anything that could hurt you or hurt others. For example, don't touch the knife. Don't touch. No cheating. No cheating. Cheating is when you look at someone else's answers and use them as your own. No cheating. 
Don't bother me. Don't bother me. To bother someone is to distract them or make them angry in some way. Don't bother me. Silence your phone. Silence your phone. When you are in class or in a meeting, it is important to silence your phone. Silence your phone. Speak softly. Speak softly. It is important to speak softly so you do not bother other people. Speak softly. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention means to look and to listen. Pay attention when the teacher is talking. Pay attention. Look at me. Look at me. The teacher wants to explain something, so she will say, look at me. Look at me. Rebellious. Rebellious. A rebellious person does not obey the rules and can hurt himself or other people. Rebellious. Bully. Bully. A bully is a person who hurts someone using the words or their body. Bullies make people feel sad or very bad. Bully. Bullying. Bullying. Bullying is a verb. It is when you hurt someone with your words or with your actions. Bullying is very hurtful and mean. Bullying. Great job. Now let's learn some English grammar. Don't. Don't. When we use the word don't, we use the infinitive form of the verb. For example, don't talk, don't cheat, don't run, no, no. When we use the word no, we use the ing form of the verb. For example, no talking, no running, no bullying. Great job, everyone. Now let's practice our dialogue together. Lesson 24, Dialogue. Good morning, everyone. Today we have a new student in our class. Please say hello to John. Hi, John. You can sit next to me. That's very kind of you, Dan. John, we have some important rules you need to follow when you are in our classroom. Students, can you tell John some of our rules? When the teacher is talking, be quiet and listen carefully. Pay attention so you know what to do. That's great, Mary. 
What else? No running. When it is time to go outside, we stand in a line and wait. We should speak softly when we walk by another class. We also need to look both ways before we cross the street. When you do homework or take a test, no cheating. Don't touch someone else's homework. Don't bother other students in the classroom when they are trying to work. These are all very important rules. John, do you think you can obey the rules? Yes, I can obey the rules. I'm glad there are rules. At my old school, there were bullies. They would fight a lot. Yes, the rules help us to stop bullying. After school today, we will go to the park together to play a game. The game is really fun. We will make a circle. Mr. Smith will tell us when to go faster and when to slow down. When he tells us to stop, we have to sit down as fast as we can. Sounds like fun. I'm happy to be at a new school. Thank you so much for learning English with me today. I hope you can practice your new vocabulary about following and obeying the rules. If this video helped you learn English, please like and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Goodbye! Thank you.